Looking at my horse. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> um, sort of a misty day, but feels it's funny. A rum is that? Mm. Chat running with his head down. Yeah. Uh, this feels a bit warmer to me anyway. Right. You don't look very warm out there, but. Hmm. <laughs> well, I've got a story for you, ain't it, Rose? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I watched yesterday afternoon, I watched Toad to Toad All on my computer. A lovely animation film. It's just lovely. Mm. Um, but it, it reminded me of um, uh, going back some years. Um, I used to tune the piano for a family. And they were both music teachers, this family. And they had two pianos in their house. They had a stack upright. Nice piano and a Beckstein Grand. I actually preferred the stack to the Beckstein actually, but I used to tune them both. And I went for quite a long time. Um, and then they split up with this family. And um, husband moved out road and remarried uh, somebody else in the town. Um, and his wife and they sold the house because it was quite a big house, it was a detached house. And his wife sold the house and bought a newish house. Um, well, what a new build. Mm. Um, village. Not, yeah, at top. yeah, at top, top at village. Or you could almost see bridge, Umber Bridge from it. Um, anyway. The, the the husband, he was crazy about Victoriana and the whole house was, it was only a terraced house, but it was all done out of Victorian. Um, and they even, well his wife did, she even wore Victorian clothes, you know, she used to wear one of these yeah. big long white pennies that they used to wear. Um, I know? remember them, yeah. Yeah, and the, he had never watched television, they, didn't, they never had a telly. They, I never saw a telly in the house when they were together, when they were married, together. And then when they split up and set up new houses, they, 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 he, he, never, he never had a telly. Um, but um, somebody bet him he couldn't go on Weakest Link. He'd never seen it. He He's never seen it. He, did, he had no idea what Weakest Link were about. But he he um, he went on it and won it, <laughs> <laughs> um, and he used to have a. They got rid of the two, the Steck and the Beckstein, and he he had a more modern, a little modern, um, uh, piano, and and uh, his ex-wife bought a, a a brand new Yamaha upright, um, but he had he also had an harpsichord that I used to tune as well upstairs in bedroom. Um, and they, they are a really, really difficult thing to tune is an harpsichord. When you press down on the key, it has a, a jack, what I call a jack, and it has a little leather thong. And there are two strings on every note and the, one string's above the other. And this little leather thong clips, you, to, you can adjust it so that it just clips the edge of the strings as it goes up and it has a, a, a padded thing on top to stop it flying off out at piano when you press the key. Press the key and this wooden thing shoots up and it's this this thing and, it, and all the way up it flicks the strings and it makes a very tiny sound. The strings at the top end are almost like cotton, they're that thin. Mm. Um, 
And it, it, this this house where they live were on a main road. And I, I used to have to get my head down when I was tuning it. And when the lorry went by, I used to have to wait. I couldn't tune it. I couldn't hear it over the lorry. Uh, it made such a tiny sound. Really difficult. Um, but... Um, why, why, why did I think of them when I watched the, the film, Toad to Toad All? Well, when I tuned the, the, the ex-wife's, the lady's piano in the new house, eventually I told her I was going to retire, told her I was going to finish. And she said, what are you going to do when you retire? And I says, oh, I'm going to sell up and live in a motor room. And, and she says, what, like Toad? Like Toad, the Toad all. <laughs> uh, and I says, aye, sort of like that, yeah. And um, for a long time, when we did it, I used to send her a postcard. I used to do drawings, little pen drawings on a postcard and send, send them to her. And I used to sign it, Toad, poop, poop. Because they were always going poop poop, weren't they? Those two. Yeah. And, it, and but eventually she moved. She sold that house and moved in to Stafford to be near a family. Because they did have grown up children, you know. Um, they, when I were doing it, they were at university. Um, but eventually the. She moved near a son, didn't she? Yeah, she did in Stamford. Mm. And I, I never. I never got her, her address at all, so no. that what end that well, what? she moved in with her son and then ah. they were, she was going to have a house built. Yeah, she was, yeah, that's right, Pat. <clears throat> I can remember that. Yeah. 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 I think that's when you stopped sending cards when yeah. she moved in with her son. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's... <laughs> a little story. A little story that I got that... Um, I was reminded of by watching Toad to Toad All. Yeah. And I watched another film last night called Tape, The Tape. It were good. The Tape? Yeah. Hmm. It was about... Um, what, a reel-to-reel -reel tape? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, a cassette tape. Yeah. This, it was about... It would have been set probably in the 80s. Oh. You know, before mobile phones and computers. Mm. Um, and it was about a young woman that um, she she was um, a really <clears throat> good singer and piano player. But she got had a bad experience with music industry, and she'd gone and walked out of it and gone to Cornwall and. She was cleaning, but she was clumsy and hopeless. Oh. She kept getting sacked oh. um, from these cleaning jobs. She never did no right. And eventually, the, this this woman that she worked for her was going to sack her. She begged her not to sack her. And, and she said, well, I'll tell you what, there's a house that um, someone is abroad belongs to someone who is abroad and they want someone to go in twice a week and just dust round it and air it air, keep the house aired. So even you can't cock that up. <laughs> so <laughs> she got this job. When she went to this house there was a piano in it. In tune I might add as well. Um and in the in a cupboard she found a, um, a four-track recording, to, you know, one like a TIAC, the old TIACs from the, the 70s, 80s. We had one. Um, and you put a cassette tape in it and you can, it had four channels that you could record on. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So she set a mic up using broomsticks and things <laughs> and started... She had loads of, she'd written, she wrote all her own music and she started recording songs on it. All right. She, and she had a beautiful voice. Absolutely beautiful and she could play the piano and all. Um, 
Anyway, while this were going on, there were a fella, um, totally unknown to her. No. <laughs> he, he was the nephew of the family that were abroad. Oh, right. And he were, worked in, he was a, a, a corporate lawyer uh -huh. in London. Right. And he hated it. He hated it. He hated what they were doing, what it all stout stood for, how they just walked all over people, all for money. And he hated it. And he, <clears throat> I think he was having a nervous breakdown, really. And they told him to take a couple of weeks off. Um, so he went, he went to Cornwall and he, he was going to the house because his, his, his actually, his family had left him this house. Right. Um, and he was going to it and when he was walking up to it, he heard them singing. Ah. And she, uh, she, she, he knocked a plant pot off her while he was looking through a window and she heard him and they got talking and he, he decided not to in, interrupt her. Right. So he decided to rent um, a little place just out road in. It was an old coast. Mm. It overlooked the sea, this place. It was lovely. Right. It really inspired this lass to start up again, playing and... Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, to cut... Oh, I'm telling it all film, but... During the, the film, one of the words, the words of one of the songs that she wrote, they were all songs about how the world's changing and how um, miserable people are in the changing world and that. And it, one of the, the lines in the song were about when she was at school looking out of the window. Um, and it reminded me of when I was at Crawshaw in Putsey and I hated school. I never did well. I was always bottom of class, except for one year. Um, and I used to gaze out of the, out of the, always looking out the window and it was, it was, three, I think there were about three floors to the Crawshaw school. I, they'd just built it, it was brand new, um, in 1959 actually. Um, I went, when my parents moved from Armley to Pudsey, I went to Littlemore School, which was an old stone built school. Um, and they were just, they were building Crawshaw, secondary modern school. And when it opened, we, our year, well, we were the first lot to move into it. And it had three floors, it was supposed to be all modern, you know. But when I used to look out the window, they used to overlook these um, allotments. And not all, all these allotments, you, when you looked into over at them, you could see people who had retired <laughs> who were doing the gardening and, you know, growing the stuff. And I used to watch them. And I used to really wish I were out there. Because that, that's in them days, I used to work on a on a farm on an evening and weekends. Um, and I, I believe that these people were free. I used to think, you know, they're free. And I'm not. I'm imprisoned in this school. <laughs> Hated it. Um, but when I left school, I went for a little while until... Farm apprenticeship scheme got me a job. The the farm, Bank House Farm, where I used to work when I was at school, I, I went there. He said he'd put me, give me a job temporarily until until apprenticeship scheme got me a, a place. And I realised that then that being outside of school or just exchanging one prison for another, <laughs> which it was. <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> I've discovered that. Mm. Um, but now I'm one of the guys in the Altman, aren't I? I'm retired now. Mm. And I actually, I am free. 
<laughs> it's the only time in my life when when I have been free. But we're still not free, really. Um, as free as you can be. Yeah. Um, mm. But yeah, I, I could be pottering in an allotment if I so wished. Yeah. If that were my yeah. desire. Mick's got an allotment. Mick has, Mick has Mick an allotment. Mick and Jane. Mick and Jane, they have an allotment. Yeah. 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 But yeah, the circle of life. Now I'm the old guy in the allotment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except you're the old guy going off in his camper van. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Wandering round. Had to go through a lot of misery to get here. <laughs> but not necessarily all misery. No. Because I actually enjoyed my life as a piano tuner. Yeah. Yeah. You always said it was the best job yeah. you could have. Good. What a privilege. Because you worked for yourself. You chose your own times. You only did two pianos a day. You came home for lunch. You didn't start. No, well, I... really early. You didn't, yeah. and you finished really. about half past three. Yeah, didn't you? yeah. So yeah, it was a, a good job. Yeah, it was. Met a lot of interesting people. Yeah. Mm. I mean, because you weren't interested in a lot of money. No. Like most at piano tuners, so you charge that little bit less. Oh, I charge a lot less than most piano um, tuners. Yeah, I did. But that's why. And they they, they did a lot more. Yeah, they I did. I mean, they they could be out into early evening doing pianos. Oh, they used to go out one after another. Yeah. I mean, I know that um, the chap in Rodley here, when we had the piano shop here in Rodley, there were a piano tuner who lived out road there. He used to do six a day. Thought no of it. In fact, when we opened our piano shop, he opened one in on the corner. I did it. Yeah, in sweet shop. It didn't last long, did it? Didn't, it didn't. No, no. No. In a big sweet shop. Ah. Well, I mean, the reason we shut down was for minor strike. Minor strike, yeah. Yeah, because it was a knock on effect. Because people who came to look at pianos, I think we had quite a few that were ready for going, you know, for sale, yeah. that they were going out, people yeah. had said they wanted them. Yeah. But I think most of them were involved with teaching and... They cancelled it. And they cancelled. Orders. Yeah. Phone never ran for six weeks. Yeah. We, yeah. we didn't do any business, no. did we, for no. ages, because no, people were frightened of spending the money. Yeah. It did have a right knock-on effect. Yeah, it did. In fact, we've just been watching a video by a, a channel called By The Curb. Yeah. Uh, it, it comes from Barnsley, this guy. No, I thought it was Halifax. No, It came no. from where they were working. Where they were. Rotherham, no. Yeah. It comes from Barnsley. But right. his family lived in Rotherham. And businesses in Rotherham. Um, in old days. And they were... Yeah. He was... He was, was saying about Augury that... The area where the miners strike were, where there were a lot of violence. Uh, the Thatcher labelled the miners as as thugs. She persuaded the public that the miners were thugs. Yeah. And she mobilised an enormous police force yeah. against them. But um, they didn't see the other side of it, no, no. the police. Yeah, the police the only, were the thugs. They only saw the at miners that, at that time, retaliating. Yeah. Well, Thatcher were determined to kill mm. the industry. Yeah. Uh, oh, she had it all planned out. Yeah, yeah. She'd stockpiled all she, coal. She coal. It was revenge. Because when, when, the, when the power workers went on strike and brought us to three-day week, <coughs> when Heath were in power, she she vowed to get her to curb the unions, the trade unions. Mm. She she waged war on the trade unions. Um, yeah, yeah. Is it the fourth? It's the fourth anniversary, anniversary of strike. Yeah, it? and he he said he uh, we're going to take us take us to Orgreave on his channel um, mm. on a video because yeah, it's now. Yeah. Um, um, well, they were saying that McLaren have a, it's been converted into a sort of a, new, a, a I don't know whether you, not a retail park, I don't know what it is. Um, mm -hmm. I've never seen but it. <clears throat> calf manufacturers. But, yeah, apparently McLaren have their works there, mm. the car manufacturer. 
Amazing, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's been going around other Rotherham and mm. he's been around a lot of towns. He were in um where they've just had election. Rochdale. Ah. They've just been around Rochdale. Um yeah, a lot of northern towns suffered incredibly. Um, mm. I don't know I, I, over how many years, I don't know, really. Um, but the north-south divide in this country is terrible. Mm. Um, yeah. But London don't sound much better nowadays. London's apparently... You can't, if you're Jewish, you can't go out in London on a weekend. Oh, right. Fra- yeah, that's what it's state, not right, is it? state that it's got to. Yeah, yeah, it's not right. But anyway, that's yeah. that's a few a few stories. That's looking out the window. <laughs> yeah, for you. For today's video. All right, folks. So we'll see you. Well, it's Saturday tomorrow. You don't know Ooh. what happens on Saturdays. Well, what's going to happen on Sunday? Oh, well, we won't be videoing Sunday. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Up early and away. (laughs) (laughs) All right, everybody. Bye. Bye.